Hi, welcome to Canadian Coins. In this video, I would like to share my views on the best ways to immigrate to Canada in 2021. As we all know, the pandemic has hit worldwide and it's the same with the immigration process in Canada as well. So let's discuss what are the best ways we have if you like to migrate to Canada in 2021. See how beautiful Canada look during fall. Let's see what are the options we have to enjoy the beauty. So I will start discussing the most preferred way to immigrate to Canada that's express entry as we all know. So there are three different types in this one. So I'll be discussing two of them in this video. The first one will be the foreign skilled worker class and that's FSW. And the next one I'll be discussing here is Canadian experience class CEC. Let's see the options in detail. First one is the foreign skilled worker program. This class or this program is preferred by applicants who have skills and experience in specific job courses required in Canada back in the home country. Let's see what's happening with this class. So the last foreign skilled worker draw happened in December 2020. After that there was no draws for FSW but there were 11 draws for PNP and CEC. Those are provincial nominee programs and Canadian experience class draws. So as a result, there are more than 12,000 applicants and counting with more than 7, 470 score and above. The reason for the government to delay the draws are they don't want to appreciate traveling during the pandemic. So this makes it difficult for the new applicants if you are not having enough score or 470 and below. Let's see what are the requirements for this program. You have to have at least a one year experience so that you get enough points. But if you have three years of experience, you get the maximum score. And the IELTS score that required will be around band eight. And the age gives you maximum score if you are 30 and below. But as you go, grow older, you will drop points received by age as well and the masters and phd gives you maximum score but even if you have all these if there are no draws you won't be invited you won't get an invitation for a pr let's look into the second option we have that is a canadian experience class let's dive more in deep into it so the Canadian experience class is for those applicants who is having one year of work experience in Canada. Let's see the last four draws happened for CEC. April 1st was the latest one. The score was 432. March it was 449. February, can you see? It was 75. I have never seen a score drop around this range. More than 27,000 applicants were invited with this draw but the first question arising will be you are outside of Canada and how you are going to gain one year experience in Canada so for that you need to have a work permit the next question we'll be having is how we are going to get a work permit if you are outside Canada let's discuss the options we have and after that I will discuss the best option I think to get a work permit so first one is a spouse open work permit. If you have a spouse as an international student or a temporary foreign worker in Canada, you can apply for a spouse work permit. And other work permits are caregiver work permit and a business work permit. The one that interests me most is a work permit that you will be getting after a period of study in Canada. This is how the student work permit works. You have to opt for a one or two year study program in Canada. After your studies, you will be eligible for a work permit to a maximum of three years. The key important things are you just need to have an IELTS band of 6.5 to qualify as a student 
and there is no age limit. And other benefits with these are you, your spouse can accompany you when you're coming as a student in Canada and your kids too if you have. And there is free schooling for kids and spouse can work full time in Canada. With all this pandemic going on, I feel this is the best option we have to come to Canada as a student. It helps you to be here as an individual or as a family and to get your work permit and apply for the Canadian Experience Class program. Or even if you can make this as an option to boost your foreign skilled worker score and apply for the FSW program as soon as you are done your studies. With all these informations, I believe I was able to educate and inform you on the current trends and the best options we have for migration during the pandemic in 2021. I hope you like the video. Please support the channel. Thank you for watching. See you guys.